Hey everyone, this is Jake with My Bring Back, continuing our series with the iPad iPhone app development. And as you guys have maybe seen in the past videos, if you haven't, go back and check them out. We went over kind of the installing the Xcode, the uh, the interface to actually build the app application with the iOS SDK, and then uh, also went over the Xcode for kind of the the overview, where to find stuff, just a basic springboard to actually. Uh, diving into what we're going to do next is building into these components and understanding each individual function of the Xcode 4. So what we're going to do today is actually run through the use the UI, the user interface, building that UI with the interface builder and then uh, the next tutorial series is how do we hook that up so it actually has some functionality within your iPad and your iPhone applications. So where we're at is uh, you guys have launched a new uh, project. We are basically going off the view-based template right now. There's a lot we can add into it. There's a lot we can go from. But the view-based application, you've got one view. And this one view is basically, right now, as you guys selected, it's the iPad view. So you can see our application right now is called Bringer. Um, so the preloaded view-based has uh, generated uh, the header you've got uh, the dot M and then a dot XIB which is going to be it's basically an XML file that uh, has a nice interface builder that we're going to work through today so go ahead and click into your uh, view controller dot XIB um, with your with your name here whether you name it bringer or whether you name it something else uh, that could be a little bit different on your case but as you can see we've launched into the interface builder which uh, is basically the iPad screen in the middle here in our work area. So you can scroll down and we've got the whole screen in front of us um, ready for whatever we want to put into it. So what we're going to go through is we're going to go through and put in just a simple calculator because a calculator gives us a few you know variables it's going to have uh, some fields, some buttons, and some labels to uh, just give us a little bit of what this can actually, the X204 and the iOS SDK is, is capable of. So where we're going to start is actually building it again in the, in the interface builder here. So as you guys have launched the XIB, you should have your workspace in front of you. And then over to the right you can see, as we went over in the overview, we've got our objects library and then attributes. Really important that those are open, so if you haven't opened it already, go ahead and click this far right and uh, swing that toolbar out. So, basic calculator, we're looking at a couple fields, a couple buttons. So let's go ahead and start with the buttons. And if you're running through the objects, if you're familiar with them, you'll see, should be the second one in, you'll see a round rectangular button. Go ahead and either uh, drag that onto your screen and uh, place it where you want, etc. We're gonna put ours uh, about midway down and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger by dragging one of the arrows very simple to actually make stuff change it etc and uh, now we're gonna put a title on this button because if there's no title no nobody really has any direction to what it's gonna do so we're gonna double click and actually write the word calculate within that button um, so we're gonna have a calculate function and then we're also gonna have a clear function so after they after they calculate it, they want to they want to clear the fields and start over, put some more values in there to calculate, etc. So we're actually going to make another button. You can either do the same thing by clicking, dragging the button over, or you can simply just uh, take another button, copy and paste it, you know, maybe resize it to a different size, and then uh, change the title. Again, you can double click to change the title, or another way is to highlight the button, go up to your attributes up here click your attributes and you'll see title and you can simply change it to clear etc whatever your your title is so we've got our two buttons great um, as you highlight your buttons just uh, to keep you aware you can change text color fonts you know there's a bunch of different options in here depending on what you're doing alignment all that so just to note that uh, as you guys are building more complex things alright so then uh, then we gotta have two Input uh, input fields for them to put their values or or whatever they they're gonna input for future future applications. So as you guys see, you'll see a text field. If you highlight over it, 
you'll see a text field which is user interface text field and uh, you can read a little bit about it there I've simply dragged one over and then I'm gonna go ahead and resize it a little bit and then we're gonna do the same thing just copy and pasting that text field so we can give them maybe two you could even do more complex calculators with four or five fields calculating different values so now we've got our text fields in place that they can simply put the values in and then uh, the goal is is that they'll click calculate and then we need some kind of label to actually show the calculation the result of the calculation so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna post a label out there and you'll see label clearly labeled for you um, double click take the value out of there we're gonna make this a little bit bigger because we want that to stand out as far as the value make sure it's selected what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a background color so as you can see the view here you know, let's make that a nice little orange, uh, or they call it a cantaloupe. That's that's a nice name there. All right, so we're done with the colors menu for now. But uh, one of the other things is uh, maybe we want to make the font just a little bit bigger on this as it's displayed. So you can click the font there. Instead of a 17, maybe we'll go with the 24. Close out of that, and then we're gonna center the actual value that it comes out. So as you can see, there's different functions over here that you can use. It doesn't have to be exactly this thing here. But then we're going to take another label here, drop it down, and then we'll just put total in there so people know what this box is for. Maybe put another one in here, label that equals, center that out there and then put it right in between. As you can see we've got those guider lines that are definitely helping us out as far as keeping stuff uniform, making it look clean, crisp, and, uh, and going forward with that. So now we've got input field value plus value equals total which should display here. One other thing is we should we should show the users what, what they're actually calculating. So maybe put another label in here and we'll simply add a plus sign center that value and then uh, put it right in the middle of those two right there alright so so far we've got uh, our buttons our label two text field but maybe we should come up with some kind of title up here and uh, and throw that up here just to give a little clarity simple calc for the lazy alright not saying anyone out there is lazy but uh, might be classifying myself in that. Alright, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so it shows people, you know, here we are. This is the lazy calc for everyone. Alright, so so far so good. We got a clear title, we got some clear direction as as the user opens up the application and uh, really happy with what we've got so far. So now we're just gonna run it to see what it looks on the application keep in mind we haven't connected anything as far as what these buttons are going to do what these fields are going to do what uh, the output are going to be um, and that's going to be the next tutorial series but we've got the user interface built which step in the right direction so now uh, now that you've got it built go ahead and run your application and what you'll see is you'll see the iOS simulator like I showed you in the previous video launching and you can see exactly what your app looks like you know simple calc for the lazy you can actually click in these and uh, and write stuff, calculate stuff. Uh, will be next round, but we can put in values right now. You can click calculate; it's not going to do a thing right now because it's not hooked up in anything. So we've got our basic functionality and uh, and what we're looking at. And so uh, next, we'll go into actually connecting the the uh, buttons, connecting the fields, and uh, getting our calculator working. So. As you guys see, it's uh, it's definitely an easy working step, but we uh, we're gonna take steps towards actually understanding Xcode and the individual components. So I will uh, catch you next tutorial.